Welcome to Same Spit, Different Face Podcast, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell. So, let's talk the young black mogul, because she was only 28 years old, her name was Monique, and she was a real estate agent out of... Minneapolis, and then a piece of scum basically shot and murdered her in attempts to rob her boyfriend. So, um, 28-year-old Monique was found shot to death by authorities on no, on New Year's Eve, December 31st. 40-year-old Cedric has been arrested in connection with the crime and is facing a multitude of charges. Here are some things you need to know about this horrific crime. According to reports, Monique was contacted by her phone by a prospective client interested in one of her homes. When she arrived to the location, the Maple Grove, to show the prospect the, prospect, the home, a U-Haul truck pulled up and Monique was into it before the vehicle took off. So this scum basically lured her out with the illusion that he wanted to buy a house from her and once she got there he threw her in the back of a u-haul truck it was later revealed that cedric lamont berry was was the driver of the u-haul which he allegedly played paid for in heron now think about this man if you're doing an interaction where you're gonna pay for something in drugs you're probably paying a addict in in a situation to deal with a u-haul so what's going to happen is soon as he gets caught, he's going to tell on you. He doesn't want to go down for murder. He just wanted to get high. So it's a lot of mistakes Cedric made, but this is mistake number one. Um, The whole meetup was apparently an opportunity for Barry to kidnap Monique so she could so he could lean on his on her boyfriend. Um, It's just sad, man, that people don't want to see you with stuff and they want to take it from you. And I mean, I know in the streets, you know, they live by street clothes codes and I haven't heard any of her boyfriend's rap music, but he looked like he rap about the streets. But if you want to lean on somebody, lean directly on him. Don't go to her. I mean, uh, you shouldn't do it to anybody, but if, if you live by a street code and this guy supposedly lives by a street code and you're going to do something, do it to him. After kidnapping Monique and forcing her to lead him to her home, she shared with the rapper boyfriend, Barry used Monique's key to enter the house. Upon entering the home, Barry began shooting at Monique's boyfriend while the couple's two young children were present, a three-year-old in the living room and a one-year-old sleeping upstairs before fleeing the scene. Um, she was shot several times but called police after the incident and was taken to the hospital. Yeah, man, this is this is super crazy, man. Um, she was young, only 28 years old, a lot of life left ahead of her. And this guy basically just took her life for a little. He didn't get anything. He didn't get anything but a long jail sentence. So what you criminals need to do, man, is when y'all putting these mastermind schemes together, think about all the variables. Like, think about this. How good is this going to turn out if I'm giving someone heroin for a U-Haul? Like, how good is this going to turn out if things go bad? Does this person have any loyalty to me? Also, think about when I am the one who called to set up this meeting, or even if I had someone else to call and set up this meeting. Can they trace that back to me? They're going to be able to trace this call back to me. When I pull up to the location, did she notify anybody that she was going to meet me at this location? I can't show up to the location with a mask on. She's verified who I am and if I'm coming or whoever else I've had to call. Like, it's just so many variables that would make me be like, nah, this is a bad idea. I can't follow through with this. I'm not going to get away with this. The whole purpose of being a criminal is to get away with the crime. So why pull a crime? that you know you're not going to be able to get away with. And I'm sure when he first thought about it, he was like, man, I'm going to make this happen. This is the perfect plan. Her boyfriend got a bag. I'm going to get it. No, what you're going to get is a life sentence. 
man, rest in peace to this young lady, Monique, man. Um, this is a sad story, man. We, we hearing about this type of stuff all the time, man. Lack of compassion and love, jealousy, people envious of the life that other people have, and they think that they should have it even though they don't want to work for it. I hope you get a thousand years, and I usually don't champion for people to go to jail, but this was very unnecessary. But drop below in the comments and let me know what you think. Also, it's free, so click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Peace.